Hey everyone, thanks for checking out this video um, and visiting Ozark Overland Adventures. I am headed to Little Rock um, to go meet a friend of mine. And today's a big day. You may notice that I am not in my JK, um, but I am in my wife's Grand Cherokee Trailhawk. Um, a little bit different scenery in here, a little bit nicer inside, a whole lot cleaner inside. Um, see, she's got her patch game going on pretty hard right now. But I'm actually going to Little Rock to pick up a rooftop tent for my wife's Grand Cherokee. Um, you may remember from the unveiling video of this rig, we talked a little bit about kind of what the plans were for this and what my wife wanted to do to it. And I don't know if you know this or not, but the amount of companies that make parts and aftermarket stuff for the WK2 platform, they're not near as plentiful as they are for, for Wranglers. Um, and there's a lot of stuff back ordered due to COVID and apparently a lot of the best companies are in Australia for this thing. So that's been, that's, uh, that's been a challenge. But anyway, it's given my wife time to, to really think and us to process what we want to do with this and how we want to use it. And so the build plans have changed. Um, this is going to be our touring rig. Um, definitely going to be taking it off-road, but not on the more hardcore stuff. So my wife has decided she doesn't need the, she doesn't need a winch up front. She doesn't need bumpers front and rear. Um, this thing should be capable to do what she and we want to do with this um, as it sits. So the plan is um, getting a tent and getting a better roof rack for it, which that's another story I'll get into later. Um, and, you know, this will be what we take to the less technical spots. Um, for us here in Arkansas, the Washita National Forest has got a lot of beautiful places, but it's a lot of dirt roads. Um, you know, four-wheel drive, maybe you need it when it's wet, uh, after it's raining and stuff or some of the conditions, but nothing super technical in the Washita National Forest. But there's a lot of beautiful places to camp, a lot of beautiful streams and stuff to camp on, and we want to go check those out. Um, and this thing, as you can see, it's got some style. It's a, a lot nicer inside. It's a lot more comfortable. Uh, as you can tell from previous videos, it's a lot quieter. Um, and so that's how we want to use this. We'll take it out to Colorado and do a lot of the scenic stuff out there. We want to take this to Moab next summer um, and hit a lot of the scenic stuff out there. Not we've done the bad. We've done most of the badge of honor trails in Moab. Um, and so we've conquered a lot of that technical stuff. Uh, but we want to take this out there and just enjoy some of the scenery and experience some of that. So, so anyway, I am headed to Little Rock to pick up the new rooftop tent for this. Visit my friend James at Global Road Outdoors. We met him at Rendezvous in the Ozarks and started talking to him. He's got uh, some great tents at amazing prices. So... Uh, I'll show you when I get there. This is it. It's my new Global Road Outdoors Sidekick One. Let's check it out. It's never been opened before. It's never been opened. This is the virgin opening. Hold on. Oh, look at some of the little cover. Oh.
It looks so good. It even has built-in lights underneath both sides. That's handy. Big old boot bags. And inside, ugh, it has lights inside too. Let's take a more detailed look at the Global Road Outdoors Sidekick 1. And just for fun, let's see how long this takes to set up. Got my stopwatch here and go. All right, that was it. That took two minutes and 40 seconds. Let's go take a look inside. Welcome inside. Let me show you around. It's got windows on each side. It's got another skylight up here. And if you have the rain fly pulled back, you can obviously see up. You can also open this and stand up there if you want to. So it's got this great little LED strip right up here. So you don't have to add any additional lighting. To use it, it's got an attachment cord right here. It comes with this long switch. And so, 
this has two attachments to it. Plug one in there, and then right in here is another plug that that one goes in, and that's for your lights on the bottom. So you can unplug that and just have lights inside. And then you have a USB cord and just a little USB pack like to you know charge your phone, that sort of thing, one of those little USB sticks. Um, and then you have a control knob. Let me turn this. Oops, there we go. It turns them on and off. And it even controls the brightness. Look at that. I love that little attention to detail. Awesome. So this is what it's like sitting back on the inside. I'm six foot one. Um, and as you can see, I'm sitting straight up. I've got plenty of headroom back here. I mean, I can move around. I can sit up comfortably. There's a ton of space in here. I love it. Um, I like that this has a little bit of insulation on it. Um, now, the mattress, I was a little concerned with. Obviously, we don't have any bedding in here. The mattress I was a little concerned with because it's only a two inch mattress. But honestly, it's pretty comfortable. We'll see how it sleeps in a few weeks. Unfortunately, we're just using this on the factory roof rack, which is not designed to hold our weight. I'm really hoping it doesn't cave in right now as I make this video. But in a few weeks, we'll have a much stronger roof rack that can actually hold the weight. And we'll actually sleep in here. And when we do, I'll let you know how it goes. But right now, I'm really optimistic. This mattress feels, feels really good. It's a full-size mattress in here. So, you know, definitely two adults, which is what we wanted it for. Two adults, one adult, two kids. They say two adults, a small kid. That's going to be really close, but, uh, you know, whatever you can fit in a full-size mattress at home or in a full-size bed at home, you'll be good. Another neat thing I like, I don't have it up here, but there's actually um, locking supports to put on these struts so that if you're in a condition where it's really windy and you're concerned about the wind possibly pushing this down, it's got locks that, that you put here on the struts so it can't uh, it can't push it down i don't see that ever being an issue but it's nice that they include that just in case you know if you're you know i don't know camping during a hurricane or something it might come in handy but uh nice little touch if you do roll these up nice and neat it does have pockets on each side so you can put your keys put your phone you know whatever you need to in there the battery pack for the for the lights which i've already taken off your power cord here for the lights it can go in there on the outside here it does have boot bags or storage bags that just slide in these rails this one is for just little little things you may want to store toiletry items um sunscreen bug spray i don't know um, I, lots of stuff you could put in there battery packs and then this one is a actual boot bag that's big enough to hold Looks like two pairs of shoes in there. And I like that they have these little covers that can roll up. And then underneath here, it's got this one long bag that fits in this channel with a zipper. And you can just use that to store all kinds of stuff. I think they did an amazing job. There are some similar tents on the market, but you will not find one anywhere close to this price. The Sidekick One lists for $1,700 and includes all the extra little goodies. The Sidekick Two, which is bigger, lists for $2,000. We also got the awning that goes with it. I'm gonna set this up real quick and see how it goes.
Those are bright. Now the awning zips into that awning. See how easy this is. a lot faster once you have your lines already prepped, which I do not because I just opened them. too bad I mean considering this is the first time that I've even taken this out of the box or out of the bag and hadn't prepped the lines or anything this makes a nice little shelter I like it not bad at all now it's not you know a dedicated awning off the side of your rig like a you know 270 degree awning or an ARB slide out awning that sort of thing but to be able to attach it to the tent and then have extended coverage yeah I like it and that will be that's actually pretty easy to set up all right well I think that's the uh, the grand tour we'll let you know how we like it as we use it but so far very impressed with how easy this to set up very impressed with the quality pretty impressed with this this awning too and we will be getting the annex as well, but we don't have it just yet. Um, that will be coming next week. So, but uh, now let me see how long it takes to tear this down.
That's it. I love it. Globalroadoutdoors.com. They've got two sizes of these. They've got a navigator series, which is the kind that just pops straight up. And then they have a, a clamshell where you come in the back. Um, so they got five different styles tents. I'm impressed, very impressed. If you're in the market for a, a rooftop tent, especially if it's a hard shell, check these guys out. I'm impressed. Let me know what you think. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please uh, like the video. If you found this helpful, subscribe to the channel so you get notified when we upload new videos and comment below. Let me know what you think of this thing. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.